All right, in this video, I'm going to do another example of solving an absolute value inequality. And I believe this inequality is going to be more of the second type. We're going to have the absolute value of something less than or equal to some uh, positive number in this case. Basically, we'll just remove the parenthesis or the absolute value um, and sandwich this quantity A in between the positive B and the negative B. So, okay, so we have the absolute value in this case of 4 minus 3x minus 6 plus x less than 12. First, I'm going to simplify inside the absolute value. Um, 4 minus 6 would be negative 2. Negative 3x plus uh, a positive x will be a negative 2x less than 12. And again, to solve this type of uh, inequality, absolute value inequality, we just remove the absolute value. We make it less than 12. But then we also make it greater than negative 12. And now we have a compound inequality that we're going to solve. So I would start by adding 2 to both sides, or all sides. Negative 12 plus 2 is negative 10. Uh, we'll have negative 2x in the middle. 12 plus 2 is 14. And lastly, I would divide everything by negative 2. Remember, uh, we have to be careful here because we're dividing by a negative, so our inequality will flip. So this will be positive 5 is greater than x, which is greater than negative 7. You could equivalently write this as negative 7 less than x less than 5. These both, uh, both of these statements certainly talk about the same values of x. And again, if you wanted to write this in interval notation or to see a graph, it says here's negative 7, here's 5. Neither of those work, so we use an open circle. Everything in between works, so we would shade it. And then simply to write that in interval notation, we could say our solution is starting at negative 7, but not including it, going up to positive 5, again, but not quite including that value.